like to watch them on my laptop or on my iPad and uh, I never watch them when they're supposed to be sort of broadcasted at, on my own tongue when I get some time to watch them. I would have liked to have a better iPad, uh, better connection perhaps, possibly. Uh, today I get my films from my US account on iTunes and uh, um, that is a bit of a tricky thing having here, but uh, anyway, I don't mind, it works. So I guess uh, in the future I'll uh, have even better global distribution uh, and perhaps even more targeted um, film packages towards my profile, I guess. Would be a good thing to have. A lot of so small sh short formats, 20 minutes is great and, and that is kind of how much I can bear, basically. Then I, then I, need, I watch them together, 12 in a lump, for a couple of days. So. I guess more special effects and possibly more interaction could be could be the way. I guess I want to interact perhaps a bit more with the community. T today I don't see a really efficient way of finding my the best films in a similar way. So I guess a bit more of a pre-release would be interesting to have. Uh, and then obviously if you look at the new release of Tintin, um, that by the end of the year, that kind of um, a new uh, mix of special effects and you know real uh, real actors is, is kind of exciting and I guess we will see much more of that so much more you know special will be fun. Well I would say that whenever I get the chance to watch a movie I feel totally relaxed and uh, laid back so uh, either in the sofa with my girlfriend or uh, on my iPad while flying somewhere. Whenever I'm in an airplane seat, I can see a movie or like late, late nights to treat myself. I think that a good movie is a good movie regardless of the format. So digital or on the big screen or yeah, even together with friends somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're constantly fed with uh, American movies. So whenever I get the chance to see a Swedish movie, I probably give it too much appreciation. And, uh, Tension and so European movies in general, something that we could see more of in Europe, Sweden, I think. I don't watch movies at all. Uh, if I try, I fall asleep. I fell asleep during the final battle scene in Tron. Uh, I woke up when my 3D glasses hit my <laughs> my lap. I don't have the patience to watch through a movie. What would be good for me, <laughs> having this problem, because I would still like to see more uh, film. I would like tools to adjust the films to my life. So I could I could search or browse films according to how long they are and I could watch them when I have that amount of time and they would load quicker so I don't have to wait for them once I decide to watch them but, and also I would like them operated into my surroundings so that I can wash dishes and watch a movie at the same time for example that would help a lot the, the, the only time when I can imagine myself watching movies is while I'm doing something else to avoid falling asleep I mean it's not like I have never watched a movie in my entire life. Of course, I have seen uh, I've seen really good documentaries that mostly keeps me awake because it's interesting in a different way because it's about real people, so it interests me much more. I like to watch them through different websites. Um, I prefer Headweb, the Swedish one, or Vodler, which is also Swedish. Uh, movie site. I don't go and rent movies anymore. I connect the computer to the TV screen. Mostly I use um, uh, an app which is called Boxy and um, it's a media center where you can um, get access to all of your media files both in your computer, both movies, images, but also uh, Boxy has got something uh, sort of like the App Store. They have a lot of apps that companies or other people can develop. So you can access movies or YouTube clips uh, through an app. So I usually watch both TV and, and movies through Boxy and these apps. 
when I'm traveling, like for instance, uh, when I travel to this island that we're on right now, uh, I watch uh, videos on my iPad and that's a really nice thing to do when you're traveling. If you're two people and you want to have a social experience and watch the same thing, you can either just have a, well, you can both plug into the one iPad or you can have two and sync them. <laughs> that's kind of geeky, but we do that. I would prefer if there were more sites that, that were more niched. Only Woody Allen movies or only horror movies or something like that. Today they're, well, kind of broad and so I would like to have more niched and more um, well, in different genres and, and so on. One thing that I can see, I'm not sure if it's the format, but the, the way that they produce movies is that it's no longer only big companies that produce movies. Now, um, not everyone, but uh, even people like you and me can crowdfund a movie. If they um, get the amount that they want, then the movie will be produced and you will also maybe have your name at the end or something like that. And that's, that's nice, I think. So it would be great if like the um, format would change so that it's not very set if it's a short film or a documentary or a, um, a feature film or whatever but that people can skip the genre and, and just make a film like like Werner Herzog says like I don't make documentaries I make I make movies and that's fine I think I think that's a good thing to to be able to break uh, the niche or whatever if you want it to be factual then it can be factual otherwise you can have it directed or part part mockumentary part documentary part feature movie it's it's just locking people into a little box if you try to say that you, you're making a movie or, or a film of a certain kind I think I heard about these glasses that you, that some airlines have, where you you put them on and and then you, it simulates like a, a a cinema screen at the perfect distance, so that everything else is like blackened out, and so you can get the the cinema uh, feel wherever you are, and that way I could watch it on the train, or I could have watch it with my friend who's also wearing the same type of glasses, and like some kind of augmented reality reality layover. Uh, thing would be nice mm, and and to be able to watch movies streamed of course so that I don't have to own them I don't want formats I, I would like to not have any formats so that each creator is, is free to to work any way he or she wants to so that it's just a it's just a piece of art it's not a product that's supposed to be or meant for a certain format. I think that just limits people.